Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a little bit different of a video because it's not going to be really truly a product review which I do a lot of on this channel. Instead I'm going to be letting you in a little bit on my past. So I have actually been playing guitar since I think I was about 13 years old um, and I have just really really enjoyed it and for a while I just haven't been playing guitar. However recently I decided you know what I think that's going to change. So I wanted to make this video today because I think it's actually really cool because I'm going to show you guys my main guitar that I have had since I was a teenager and that is the Lyle W300 acoustic guitar. Let me go ahead and get that out. So this is my Lyle acoustic guitar. I believe it's made 1972. I can't totally remember where I came up with that date um, as I was looking through this guitar and I couldn't find 1972 anywhere on it but that's what I've always thought it was and I had done a ton of research into these guitars a long time ago uh, so that's what I believe it is it is a W300 so what Lyle was was a brand back in the 70s and 80s that was making acoustic guitars they were kind of similar to a Gibson guitar but it is not I actually have thought in the past uh, that these were Gibson guitars however doing more recent research I found a little bit more online about them and they are a completely separate company Honestly, these have been just a fantastic guitar. Um, I really, really have liked it. It's quirky. It's really interesting. I will say I really do like older guitars. I love that they have stories. Um, no matter what, they have something that's happened to them in their past. And I just really like being able to think what they used to be like, what they were like new and stuff like that. And it's just something that new guitars just, you know, don't have right anymore. Um, well, they will <laughs> when they're old guitars in their own right. However, uh, th these are just awesome guitars. I do also have a Gibson B25 as well. Uh, that was gifted to me by my grandmother uh, but we're gonna start with this one and I might do a video on that one later uh, because this one is my main one the Gibson B25 is a three-quarter guitar this one is a full size uh, so it's just generally the one that I play the most it's also the one that it's kind of my beater or not I don't want to say beater guitar but it's a guitar that I can take places and play um, so I really do like this it is a fully acoustic guitar there are no electronics which does play into some issues when I do want to play with other people on stage or anything like that. I have to play with a different guitar or get something like a microphone. Uh, but anyways, back to the guitar itself. I really, really do like this guitar. Um, it is super nice. Um, it is definitely beat up a little bit because it is like 50 years old at this point. Um, and has obviously probably gone through quite a few hands when I had purchased it. This thing was in really, really, really rough condition. However, I paid a gentleman to go through and just completely clean up, clean it up um, after this was actually given to me by my parents. So he went through and just cleaned up all the tuning knobs. He went through and cleaned up the neck, uh, just everything about it, just kind of cleaned it up, made it so that it was just running really well because it was not when I first got it. So there are little damages here and there. Um, as you can see, there are kind of scuff marks and stuff all along the top. Um, and then there is a crack, which I, I, I've only seen one other video online out there, and it sounds like they had a similar issue on these Lyle acoustic guitars of having a bit of a crack here and there. Uh, right here at the base of the neck um, and then I do have the crack right there however I've had this guitar now for 13 years now um, and those have not grown those have not gotten any worse or anything like that so um, I don't think it's honestly going to be an issue and really I don't really ever plan on selling this guitar so I'm not really worried about the resale value um, I really had a hard time finding any comparables out there for the value of this guitar but if I were to sell it probably in like the $700 range um, is my personal bet so uh, let's talk about features of this guitar. It is a laminate guitar, so it has an adjustable bridge here. Uh, so you have these basically bolts right here uh, that you can twist and it basically raises up and down the bridge. Uh, so it kind of changes the action. I think I have it on the lowest setting right now because this guitar is a pain to play, honestly. Um, this has one of the highest actions I've seen of any guitar out there. Um, and then the neck is actually a V-neck, which also plays into that. I'm not a huge fan of the V-neck, but I've gotten used to it because I like this guitar a ton. Um, and so just kind of the combination of the high action um, as well as that V-neck uh, does kind of make it a little bit difficult to play and it takes, takes some getting used to. Um, and it can be difficult to play for people that have never played a guitar like this. I've been relearning guitar um, and it's been a lot of fun to relearn on this guitar again. Um, and it's just been a blast to play. So that said, I haven't done a ton to it other than strings. I do have a pick holder right here, which is really, really handy. Uh, easily able to store my picks in there. Uh, and I really do like it. I do also have a pick that's 
stuck in the inside. For some reason, I've not been able to get that one out. I do like the pit guard right here. It kind of makes it a reminiscent of like the Hummingbird Gibson, uh, which is, I assume, honestly, what they're going for here. That just kind of gives it a little bit of flair uh, and just makes it stand out. I haven't seen this exact guitar anywhere else online. I don't know if this is an aftermarket because uh, I have not been able to find any other stock images about this guitar or really honestly any information about this guitar anywhere from what I have found. Uh, and I've spent years, you know, researching this guitar. Um, I do have a Fender strap. This is one of the most comfortable straps I've ever had um, and I really do like it. So I've been using that for years and years and years now. So with that said, I want to play you guys a little bit just so you can hear the tone of it and just kind of hear and see what it sounds like. Uh, this is a really cool guitar um, and I hope you guys like it. Um, and so yeah, anyways, that is that. Let's go ahead and just kind of show you a little bit of what it sounds like. I'll show you guys a little bit of finger picking. Anyways, you kind of get the idea. Um, this guitar really is fantastic. I've really, really enjoyed having it. Um, I really appreciate that uh, it was gifted to me by my parents so many years ago. Um, I've loved that I held on to it. Um, and honestly, it's just such a, such a neat guitar. It may be a pain in the butt to play. It really, really is a great one that I've, I've really enjoyed having, uh, and I'm glad I happened upon it. Um, and uh, yeah, so hey, that, is just kind of a really quick overview of the Lyle W300, the only video on the internet I've seen of one of these. Um, if you are somebody that has a Lyle guitar, leave a comment down below. I would love to chat with you and see what you think about it uh, and see if you know any more information about this company and any more information about any of the other guitars because there isn't much out there and uh, I'd always love to learn about it. Anyways, with that said, subscribe if you like videos like this or you love to see product reviews or anything like that. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Liking this video does help me out because it shows other people on the internet this video when you do that because it helps out the algorithm. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great one.